can sit a car which takes you there in a style. And when you are driving, you are excited. Ama ni zingine miguu imeisha na polisi ndio hao. Ama za zingine. Unaingia petrol station na unaumiza mbona nyinyi mmepandisha mafuta. Ama you are lucky to say just a car. Just a car. And the right exactly what you own and what you have. Don't lie because I'm putting you guys on something very important. I've talked to many people and I've created a lot of millionaires. Not in Kenya alone. In Kenya I have a number. But across the world, not Africa lot, many other places. If you find that you are not enjoying, how many times have you taken your kids out of Kenya on holiday? After Nairobi National Park, ni maragabi umeenda. Eh? Maragabi umeweleka unapaksa kwa jione hile naiku wa kilindini hafla. How many times have you taken jumbo jet just to show the kids that you know I'm your father? I'm your father. Eh? Are we together? If you find that you have not enjoyed all these things we are talking about, listen please. You must say enough is enough. One time, one time in 2012, when I came to this business, I was driving a car. I'm going to go and get a car mechanic to talk in a lobby town up to a river where you stay because it will break down any time. Anyway, now River Road, Kinyanga Road, where they sell spare parts. Iki oneka na mara moja wa hivi walikuwa kuwa mbiwa akaka mtu kama kujia kabireta, apa matai ya kuka usiku, apa mbamba hivi ni zisi. And that was me. I mean, let's be ourselves. Please don't lie. If you want to succeed in life, you must be very open. You must be yourself. And I wrote those things in 2012 when I came across somebody who I called my mentor. I came to Forever Living Products and they told me that Bele, you are meeting people who are earning 100 million a month. People making 50 million a month. Nani kashindo haa watu kwa ni wanafanya ni hii. Nani kasema, last man ikua wanafanya ni hii. And when I questioned to them how they were making money, they told me Bele, the secret is one. Have you ever come across somebody called your mentor? Who is that? Somebody who is doing very well, and you want to be like him, so you keep on asking him and consult him for everything you want to do. Because once you consult him, the chances are you become like him or better. It's called a mentor. Do you know for athletes while you can be here, what the last time was called Namut and Aikwa coach. Now I'm going to go to the international racing. Marobo, I'm by Hana coach. Tini kwe, utachiri ni hivyo hivyo. You can never be called wealthy unless you have somebody you are consulting and that person is called your mentor. So I came in and I was given mine. And when I got, I got them online. And one of them is Matt Morris. Another one is uh, Les Brown. Another one is Randy Gay and Brian Tracy. When I got them, much later, I've ordered a book with one of my mentors. This is a book by James Bell, of course, you can see this book. Beyond Success with Yes, man. I offered, if I open for you inside, I've done it with somebody I met and I consulted. And the first person to forward this book here, if you could see very well, is none other than Cynthia Petio, our CEO. I was, we are not yet started nobody, but she's the one who forwarded the book for me. Having said that, these people, when I consulted them, they told me the following. If you have only been to school to learn general knowledge, which is told in formal education, the chances of remaining poor until you die are very high. So if you are listening to me, sir, you must from today learn how to feed your mind with the knowledge about humanity, how to live with people, and how to become attractive to humanity. Why? Because wealth is a creation of numbers. And if you are not Chris Kirumi, if you are not um, Dangote, where will you get the numbers? Nagari Naisha Miku. So, your numbers will come from your mind when you possess something called specialized knowledge. 
specialize na niliambiwa mbele here are the books we have all read to become the people we are and it's either you accept to sacrifice and read the books or go home and watch a movie Watch news ya saa moja, watch news ya saa tatu, mjeli nani alitoka Kenya nani anarudi. Alafu in between you watch some Nigerian movies, ndio saa 4 kabla haijafika, nyote mnafuatana kwenda huko kwingine. No problem. But at the end of the day, how will you have specialized knowledge which can attract humanity? Because there are things you say and they would want to follow you. Stop kujaje kwa kichwa, they don't come through osmosis. Osmosis ni kuweka hii kwa kichwa na ukilala unasema na zote zingie Mungu sitende Asisi get to have to sacrifice so I was given 17 books and when I consulted people like Oprah Winfrey people like Steve Harvey people like Jay Austin and others they told me that there are some special books out of the 17 we want to narrow them to four books And if you read the four books from now milele na milele you will be attracted kama asali and because some of you have come here for the first time let me write the books for you as well as showing you but the reason I'm doing that is that I can capture some of you to be trainers to become leaders so that we can change a lot of people's lifestyles because the more the number of people you change their lives the faster and nature blesses and that is how wealth is created all the wealthy men of the world have got foundations what do they do they share their material wealth with people how are you going to share your material wealth kama ni salat na imechelewa na unajaribu nyumba iko na miezi mingi ariens unafikiri unalipa mtu mwingine si unataka kulipa because hakuna sio So how do you attract blessings? I want to coach you how to use your intellectual property to attract wealth. Number one. Think and grow rich. Think and grow rich. That is a book by somebody called Napoleon Hill. And I'm going to show you the book. Think and grow rich by Napoleon I've taken time to write them down for the sake of a few of you who feel that really I want to change who I am. And everybody in this house will never be the same. This is thing at Rorich. We were training in Nakuru and they were jumping for these books like hell. They were men in my car, remember. I got still a few, but they are there. If you ask for them, sinakunja na chato. Na moja wenu Alida tunamwambia chukua supply. I think you give me your numbers. Everybody who wants a book you will get it. It's here. It's here. I will say a few things about this book because every family of a millionaire must have a copy of this book. Number two, The power of positive thinking. And this one is by somebody called Norman Vincent Hill. And that book is here. The power of positive thinking. In fact, if we knew what I know today, after that class 7, would have looked for a mentor who would have given you these books to read. Today you'd be a walking billionaire. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Lakini is one of the top traders in the forex is a broker those are guys making over 50 million every year they just came across somebody who talked to them the way I'm talking to you and they listened we are told when you are listening to your mentor don't invent your way usiambiwe peleka namna hii na wewe unapeleka namna hii that's how people get it so the power of positive thinking by Norman Vincent Peale kwa hii kitabu kila mmoja wetu akaelewa na kitu moja that human mind is made of three parts and the three the most important hii inachukua all the information through five senses 
inaitwa conscious then kuna subconscious na kuna super mind now majority of human beings are poor because they gather information through the five senses seeing touching and you know and when they gather all that information through their conscious mind they force every bit of information into the subconscious mind the subconscious mind of a human being is the most important part of your body and its business is to to remain still like water in a drum na kazi yake ni kungoja you drop all information you are gathering from outside and as you drop that information there the more times you repeatedly bring the same information i'm poor i'm poor i'm poor poverty na ni malinda mm mm tumesota 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 now the the, 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 the the subconscious mind is gathering information which you are putting in there and that information as is collected then the last part of the mind is called super mind and that is where infinite intelligence dwells and that is the holy spirit in every human being because holy spirit is omnipresent it is everywhere in the air under the ground and within ourselves and the one in our body is lodged in the super mind and its business is to check on what you are telling your subconscious mind and once it realizes you are bringing in garbage 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 we then say garbage in garbage out because it looks like what you have been looking telling yourself repeatedly as man thinketh in his heart so is he it is it is in the scripture isn't it now infinite intelligence will tell the world this guy is a roma munga and that's how the world feels you but in this book anybody who has ever created anything kama ikiti that person must have taken time one day to think on his own na akiwa ameka any time you sit on your own for a few minutes silent the devil realizes that you want to think and the devil fears people who think so what does it do it takes off from your mind and allows infinite intelligence it allows the holy spirit to be with you and that time you have the powers through imagination thought and ideas and that is the time you see and ask yourself why can i create a chair which is a little bit special na itakuwa ni soft pale ya kutalia na pale nyingine unaona sasa ni idea now that idea you will now construct it into a complete chair in your mind it's an idea and when you are now invoking the creativity of it then it will show you the product eco complete itakaa hivi and then you have the images of what you want already complete in you you are sitting you are alone you are thinking all oh, creations if you remember how god created the world and he used to say he he we na he we he was not he was not active doing other things he was just there creating and he created man in his image so that we can have a faculty in us there's a faculty which also creates like the way he created and you are the other man to be the last to be created so that he can manage the world but he gave him the powers to be exactly like himself and that's why later he brought in his son who looked exactly like us so we have creative powers like him we are part of him what does he tell you then it's given a lot more i will not teach much for the time but it is easy <coughs> i was given this book and i was told the day you understand what is contained here you will have powers to create and to think on what to do to change people's minds and if, when you become of value to humanity nature favors you everything number 3 how to win friends and influence people by somebody called Dale Carnegie how to win friends and influence people by somebody called Dale Carnegie and that book is here
all the books are here for you. And this book will coach you a few things. Very important. Number one, learn how to humble yourself when you meet with people. You might be a guy making 15 million a month. <coughs> Just take the knowledge on how to create 15 million to others and they share that knowledge with others. Why? Because the more useful you become to humanity, the first, the first you will find that nature takes care of you. Whatever you have, nobody will be allowed by nature to come and bother you. People could even want to come and uh, probably ask you for 20,000, but nature will block their eyes. When they come, they will not see you. Are we together? Guys, in the same book, I want to coach you that you are told, be much of a listener than a talker. Because that is why you have two years and one, so that you can talk less and listen. If you want to know, somebody is poor. If you want to know, somebody is poor. Where do you live? And you are still here. Those are people who talk to me and allow yourself. Never allow yourself to be a talker. From today, learn how to listen. Learn how to listen. And anytime you are in argument with somebody or you are discussing any topic with somebody, learn how never to win the argument every time. Because the more times you win an argument, the more times you become an enemy of everybody. Because other than you are the guy, you are channel now with you. Like me, I know the father who will have to be here to find So as you get him to come and see her, the is not changing. Just tell him, okay, I agree with you. Uh, okay, I just agree with you. Just agree with me. Many people will come to do business with you because sometimes you agree what they say. Like me, the father who will have to be here to find and those things are told to you so that you can learn how to live with people. In the same book, you are told how to be courteous. How always to be there and listen to what others are saying and respect everybody, regardless of coming in your house girl or whoever he is. I can tell you this, and I always tell my friends that I happen to be lucky because I've lived in a lot of countries. I've lived in Nigeria like home. And many people think I'm from Nigeria. I'm not. But I've lived there. And one of the guys, the richest man in the world, and not man, the richest black man in the world, is called Aliko Dangote. And Aliko Dangote got his wealth through being courteous. What you call courtesy. Somebody came looking for a seat in a flight. And the person was a priest, Father Idaosa. He's a guy, there are houses from the north. And Father Idaosa was looking for two tickets, a partition a ticket ya watu wa kwa ndege ingine, ambayo ilikuwa inachelewa. And that is Benin City, Nigeria. And a little Dakota happened to be in the first flight. And when Mr. Idaosa, or rather Father Idaosa, came asking, he was told by the pilot, neta ujiulizie watu, wale wanataka kutoka wawili, waku watoke. Lakini mimi, as a pilot, I don't have powers for me what we're talking about. Now, wakati alienda kwa kujiulizia, Africans, most of them, 